Hey fellow wet shavers, it's JR here. Wet shavers and wanna be wet shavers. Uh, <clears throat> it's Friday and I'm at the end of my rotation or at least my use of the razor of the week. Uh, razor of the week this week is the Jim uh, G bar. Okay, it was in the early 50s. Uh, been a great razor this week. Going to be using the uh, Jim PDFE single edge blade in it. Uh, today we're lathering with some uh, Arco, Arco Men. This is the extra performance. Boy, it's a good, good lathering, nice smelling uh, cream. And uh, going to be making lather today with my Simone uh, Excelsior. 1305 bore and we'll finish off with some Pinot Clubman and that'll be it okay let's start with some water in the sink gonna wet the brush and wet the face There we go. That doesn't take much of this. Look at that. That's all I'm going to use. Put it right there. Okay, we're going to build some lather on my face. This brush I got probably uh, around 2013 or maybe a little bit before then. It's a really nice brush and affordable too. Alrighty. We're ready to take some whiskers off this one. I'll wet the razor and we will start. Now this, just like all the other uh, gem razors, the right angle is when the blade, when the head is just almost flat on the, on your uh, face. That's how you get the right angle. And you don't need any pressure either. Light pressure. The thing about these, they got a big head, so to get under the nose, you approach it from the side. Okay, dokie. This is pass one with the grain. Basically, north to south. Alrighty. We're going to relather and do pass two. Add a little water on there. Here we go. Yeah, a little bit, a little dab of. Uh, Soap is going a long way, as you can see. Extra performance, it says. And it does smell good. All right, we're going from uh, bottom to top, basically against the grain now.
and we're going to check for trouble spots, do touch ups. Here we're kind of going across the grain. Alrighty. Makes for a nice shade. Cold water rinse. And then we're going to pack dry. <coughs> Finish off with some Panad Clubman. Mm -mm. Very nice. Okay, now, warm water is finally getting here. We're going to uh, rinse out the brush and clean the razor. So I hope you're having a good week. Uh, having some nice shaves out there. It's been a good week with the uh, Jim G bar. Uh, <coughs> here we go ready to go for tomorrow. I'm going to open the G bar. I'm going to rinse the razor and then rinse the blade. So G bar is going away. Until the next time. Well it's been a long time since I've used the G bar but uh, <coughs> We'll get around to it again, Lord willing. There it is. And the blade has been rinsed and cleaned. And we'll put that away and uh, use that. Uh, I don't know when I'll be getting around. Let's see, next week we're going to be doing uh, shaves with uh, what Fuzzy likes to call unmentionables but that's okay I'll mention it next week I'm gonna be using my um, red and white set or excuse me red and black set I'll show you there it is okay this was made by Tom White the handle is uh, carbon fiber and then uh, the red and the black is gun coat so we're going to be using that next week along with uh, a brush that he made. This is a silver tip badger. It's, it's pretty heavy. I don't know if it's brass or uh, aluminum. I, I think it's probably brass. But uh, gun coat again, red and black. So we'll be using that next week. So another fine shave hope you all have a wonderful weekend uh, one more week from tomorrow wife and I will be celebrating our 50th anniversary she's put up with me for 50 years can you believe that anyhow looking forward to that hope you have a wonderful weekend like I said uh, we'll see you later I am clean smooth and refreshed and we'll have uh, Scotty just beam me up. Okay, bye-bye. We'll see you next week.